Hello again. Um, so this is another week, another letter, another couple of weeks, another letter. And um, uh, I guess it's a big letter, so let's get right into it, okay? And here's the letter. Okay. Uh, starting with B, as I just like I alluded to last week, now and then. Or maybe two weeks ago. With a little crack there, but not a bad price considering these are going for like a hundred bucks. Um, I made a video about this last week and talked about um, the song itself. Thankfully, the song is out of my head now. So I won't, I was going to say some more things about it. I, was gonna, I did mention how it's kind of like Please Please Me and it's coupling of like eight days a week. No, no, I'm sorry. Eight days a week, not please, please, please. Eight days a week, I love you. Eight days a week is not enough to show I care. Is a lot like the line, now and then I miss you. Now and then I hope you'll be there for me. I don't think that's the exact wording. Uh, but anyway, thank, thankfully the song is kind of out of my head. The song is in my head right now is this one. Because I just listened to this last night. Back pain no mind. And so I'm going to leave that song out of my head. I was going to talk more about the do musical analysis and breakdown, but nobody cares. Or I, I think people care, but nobody's stumbled across my video who said anything like they care about it. That's okay. Anyway, so the this next group here is um, Kelly Howland, although the music is often by Ioasis. I don't know how to pronounce their name. Or they're New Age people, but this is like binaural uh music that I was talking about I think I got these tapes three weeks ago I think I was talking about this a month ago when I was doing ages and uh I found that one and then I found all these for like a hundred bucks and I got them there's three more I have to go listen to but uh they are delightful whether the binaural thing works or not it doesn't matter uh let's see here's some more Bollywood old, old Bollywood K's are an awesome letter by the way these are so great. Kapoor, these are more like old uh, Bollywood people. They kind of delve a little bit into the classical territory a little bit. Uh, carp. Okay, this is the first really notable thing I've got. Boom, this is... Ah, uh, it's a K one. Promo of their self-titled one. And it's complete with the, uh, the liner... I mean, that that's just... Heck yeah, I've got all the other carp, by the way. Carp is a, a great band. I'm not going to swear. I'm not going to curse on this thing, but it's a great band. Cataclysm. The, the reason why I got that is because, like, the Marty McFly, there's a Back to the Future parody where he does a Cataclysm song. It's, it's really great. More classical, Indian classical music. Uh, what do we have there? Okay, nothing really. Killing Joke, Unperverted Pantomime. This is the re-release of that. I've got the original as well in my other section, which is now in a storage unit, by the way. Killing Joke. Ah, here we go. Here's the real King Crimson. Yes, original in the court of the Crimson King. Uh, Ampex. Lovely. Lovely condition. It's like... Look at that. And, uh, so I'm very happy about that. And th these weren't that much money. They were a good deal as well. There's a club version of In the Wake of the Poseidon here. We've got a lot more King Crimson. I just also got the box set, but I, I didn't listen to it because... Uh, I got the Eno box set, but what I do, the way I read liner notes is to, oh, King Crimson Lizard, same thing. Very, very good condition. The way I read liner notes is to, uh, if they're the same, I just compare them to my old liner note, which I already read. Box of Tongues, I'm going to pull that out because the tape will come out. And of course, I've got the Eno box set. I think I sh no, it wasn't, it's my old section, two on one there. Ooh, the uh, island versions of Starless and Red. Oh man, these are just... And 
that version red. Okay. That version of USA, which you mean by that I mean the whatever you call these kind of cases where the tape comes out the back. Anyway, I didn't explain yet. How do I read liner notes when I've already read the other liner notes? I just compare them. I just like put them side by side. This one is interesting. It's uh, the construction of light. The promo of Thrak. Noble Fidelity of Kingston Trio. It sounded really nice. There's some a lot of harmony singing on that. Oh, this is a, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. A guy that goes, whoo, when he sings. It's like 70s funk music. It's pretty weird, but enjoyable. Oh, yeah, Dragon Spirit. Now, here we go. Here's a something somebody made. Yep, up. I think I've, I've shown off a few of these. Video game music. And more video game music. Konami 1 and 4 from Japan. Oh, man. I love the... I wish I'd collected these long ago, but it's only in the last couple of years I got them. I don't know if they would have been more or less back then. Stuff is expensive from Japan, but I'd say it probably spent out 50 each for these. Ah, uh, and here we are. Craftwork 1 from Spain. Yes. I've got an original Craftwork 2. Look at that cover. Fontana. Spain. Excellent. I've got an original Craftwork 2 from Spain as well. Oh, yeah. No, that's an original Phillips. It's a re-release. Pop Lions. I got this very recently in the last month. The ugliest Craftwork cover of all time. So gross. I mean, but like a really nice, uh, I don't lose it, really nice uh, quality cassette though. Yeah, very nice. All right, Accelerate, a different, slightly different version. I think this is the French version of Accelerate. Other things, Electrokinetic. I've had this a long time, but it didn't play. I finally got one that played, played lovely, lovely. And a weird version with Jare, magnetic fields back with Computer World, two on one. A live thing that was put out this year. Here's one that I've been wanting to get. Tour de France soundtracks. This was actually from 2003. 2003. Very uh, updated Croftwork sound. On Facebook, there's a Croftwork. Well, no, there's a, a contest now. They're going to do the ele best electronic album. And I bet your Croftwork's going to do well on that. That, by the way, was a 2005 bootleg. Uh, other stuff here. Kukul, the witch. Bjork's old band. Paris 84. Bjork was actually the winner of the last contest on that thing. Homogenic one. It was the best experimental. Homogenic one. It's this group on Facebook where they pit albums against each other. And, uh, you know, other than Kumar and a few other things, that kind of does it. And I'm, I'm kind of wrapped, wrapped up on time. It took me less time to get through the Croft work. And the, um, what was the other band that I liked so much? The Killing, the King Crimson. Yeah, it took me a little less time to, to get through those this time. So, anyway, um, yep, on my phone, I got like 20 seconds left to just sort of look at stuff and to say a few other things next week is of course l and uh goodbye